Well, I'll get with more space engineers, and as you can see, we are disconnected from the ship. We've set a waypoint to hopefully be able to find our way back, and we're about to uh, head off into the sunset. Well, I guess in this case, the sunrise. <laughs> oh, did I mention it's uh, midnight on <laughs> Thursday night? Oh, so we're going to head down towards the planet. First, we have to get started, so let's go. So, happy Friday, everybody. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Um, I am just kind of playing around here with the vehicle a little bit. Oh, that's not good. There we go. <laughs> uh, we are about 13 kilometers off the surface and about 17 kilometers out from either of the stations. And so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be hitting up a couple of these guys. We're going to try and do... You should be recharged, which means we can bring you out of free fall, hopefully. Let's go ahead and fire those on. And what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of bring ourselves under control here. Since we're only 13k out, I figured we'd bring it back. And we can talk about what we're going to be doing. So basically, what we're doing is we've got five factions left that we need to uh, we need to encounter. So one of the factions is these guys here, which I want to say it's some it's one of the mining. I know it's one of the mining groups, but I don't remember what it, which one it was. It's like like eminent miners or something like that. Uh, we'll know as soon as we get into range on these guys, which I think will be when we break the 10k mark. It may be as close as 7k. I don't remember what we have our antenna set up for. There it is. Enlightened Minerals, that's it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and kill the inertial dampeners, save a little bit of fuel. I mean, we're just throwing ourselves at the ground anyway. So it's not too bad. Uh, when we get about to 3k in altitude, I will probably worry about it a little bit more. Of course, the ground is uh, quickly approaching. It's like, hey, look, it's got cloud cover. And I was like, oh, wait, no, that's not clouds, that's snow. Alright, so what we're going to do is let this thing bring us to a stop. We're now 6k out, not too bad. All right. And so what we're looking for is, we're looking for what, min what minerals and materials can we pick up here. Because with it being minerals, I'm assuming that we're going to be able to get things like uranium and maybe uh, ice. And if we can't get ice, well, you know, <laughs> looking at a very large field of it out here. Oh. Uh, but uh, yeah, I have to say, it's been an uh, interesting week. Had a lovely headache yesterday. For those who have never had a migraine, I, uh, as I get older, I find that I'm becoming more subject to them. So, of course, it might also have just been dehydration. <laughs> oh, all right. So let's get us a little bit closer in here. And one of the things I will hopefully be able to pick up here will be hydrogen. It'd be nice to be able to to cap off our uh, our supply there. All right. I have to say the little shuttle did an amazing job. It's not like it had to do a whole lot, but it's definitely nice to be able to uh, get down here fairly safely I mean there we go 
to make sure we oh, perfect. All right, so we can turn those off. Uh, we can latch that on. I'm going to no fuel. Not to that to recharge. <laughs> All right, so let's go take a look and see what these guys have. Oh. This is one of the, the base layouts that I actually like. Now, I had somebody tell me that um, when you are in these way stations, to uh, don't forget to check in the actual bed inventory. So let's see what we've got here. Got hydrogen. We're gonna go ahead see. Uh, so if we do say five hundred, uh, how much? No uranium. Unfortunately, I was hoping to be able to get some uranium out of here. Oh well. Oh. So if you don't take 500, we take 100. So you're at. So how much does one give us? Oh. Okay, so we should be able to do 50. Let's see here. About 25. It would be nice if the system would allow us to do something like, um, you know, if you if you buy it, it fills up all of it or tell me instead of giving me volume or giving me volume here. Oh, you know what? It is technically giving me volume. So one kill liter would be a thousand here. Interesting. Okay. Got some data pads. Not going to worry about those because now that we're on the planet, it does kind of suck that we can't get. Let's see, what do you have for contracts? The acquisition. All right, what's that? Holy. Oh. We're going to accept that. What do you need? 91 thruster components? I may actually have that up on the ship. Oh, just in time for the refresh to kick in. Doesn't that figure? Oh, wait. How much is that? position. That's nickel. One of these is for silver. Okay, so it needs 271 silver for 672,000. Are you still selling silver? You are. So if we do... Was it 167, wasn't it? How much? How much, how much, how much, how much? Did you not accept the silver contract? Two seventy one.
Nope, not worth it. That'd be a loss. So if you pay attention to the, the purchase and sell prices on things, you can sometimes get lucky and uh, you'll gain, you can actually milk the system. So what I've been told is Keen has actually been going through readjusting the values on the, the buy and sell rates. And uh, if so, it looks like, and it does look like they've been doing this. Um, it's gotten to the point where now ugh, you're probably not going to be able to make easy money anymore, at least not to that level. Um, but these guys are buying pretty much everything resource-wise. Okay, that's easy enough. So now we head over to uh, the other station. And hopefully on the way there... Oh. Uh, say hopefully on the way there we'll find a uh, a waypoint for somebody else. Okay, so you are there. So I need to go through and do. It would be really nice. It would be nice if they basically just said instead of saying here's how many kill leaders or leaders or whatever. Um, just say uh, X number of actual units. Oh, okay, so you're 86. All right, so if we do, we did what, 25 last time? So if we do 25, 30, uh, maybe 35, five units for each tank and then another 15 for the first one we're not too worried about the all right so we are going to go here we are going to do another view so we're going to say 15 for you Uh, what was that, 35, 40 then? Make sure we have the right one selected. We have that selected. So let's try, four, well, we'll do 40. Okay. And this one should be 40 as well. And one more. Okay, that should push us into the 90 percentile, like 95-ish percentile, I think. Let me help. Thank you. Ah, all right. Hey, look at that. All right, so let's check that really quick. 95, okay. Ah, all right, so that's um, that's about 30% for every 40, so 120 would, so if it's completely empty, uh, about 150 units to fill each tank is what it sounds like. All right, so I know I have the uranium up in the ship. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we do want to go ahead and turn, actually, which one are we at? Hey, look, there's a, uh, IGTC over there. And we have, where are our... Hmm. Okay, so then we have the IGT IGTC will be our next one. Okay, so we want the um you Okay, awesome. So what we need to do is we need to reset our GPS really quick. So we know this one. 
is a surface. We know the other one's a surface as well, but we visited this one, and this basically allows us to say, okay, which ones have we not really taken a look at yet? Uh, there we go. And we have a 16k trip that way. <laughs> now, I had a couple people pointing out uh, repeatedly at this point. So first off, thank you all for who for everybody who keeps coming back and saying how we told you this before. <laughs> Um, but the cruise control, uh, what people are doing is, is you have if you set up a, a cruise control option, what it will do is it will turn off your uh, your braking thrust, or basically you set up your thrusters for cruise control where you'll do a uh, you turn off your braking thrusters. It helps you save a little bit of fuel. Um, I am not using it because I have this really bad habit that I forget about that kind of crap. So if I use it, what will happen is uh, we'll end up slamming into something at high rates of speed. So, but you can actually get a, a decent amount of fuel savings out of it because in, you see how I'm doing burns right now? Uh, basically, if I was to set up cruise control for the main thrusters in reverse, once you're there, because of the fact that you, uh, you're floating, you basically don't have to keep burning fuel. Because as you can tell right now, we're burn you know, we're burning our main thrusters. And I may actually set that up at some point. Um, what I will probably do is I will probably do the same thing for um, for the ascent thrusters. Because what we can do with that is if we have it set up. Basically, you can do the same thing. You just turn on the thrusters. You know, you turn off your braking thrusters in whichever direction you're going. And you turn on your main thrusters on thrust override. And then you have the ability to adjust the thrust override. Uh, so you basically have, what was that, three, but, well, I guess technically four buttons. You have one that forces everything on, one that turns off the thrusters you need for cruise control. And then you have your increase-decrease thrust on the other grouping. So, because I mean, we were at 95%, we're down to 69, just to give you an idea how much fuel we're burning. Um, but, it is what it is, we'll deal with it. Alright, so, we'll probably pick up another, like, 45 units of hydrogen per tank if they have it. Hopefully they do. And I don't want to put myself in a situation where I have to keep burning hydrogen. So we are going for the landing pad here. Oh, hello. And... We we're close. So we can turn off thrusters. Go ahead and lock that. And let's see if they've got some hydrogen for sale. Yeah. Hey, look at that. They do. Wow, they've only got a bit. Um, yeah, so let's deal with that first. So let's see if we can get 50. Uh, actually, let's go 45. Awesome. It lets me. It was. Here you go. And we're going to do the same. Another 45. Man, it would be really nice if this had a consistent... Like, basically, leave it where it is, you know. Unless I tell it to reset. And one more. It's just annoying to have to continuously come back to it like that. Alright, 
Let's see what else you've got here. Grinders, comps. So yeah, you are just components. Are you selling plates? No. What do you want for? 4.5 million. But I didn't pick up that mission. All right. So what do you what do you have for acquisitions? Anything good? Not really. Steel plates. Bulletproof glass. Oxygen bottles. And interior plates. Um, all of which I get more money for selling the components than I do for the final goods. All right. So check. Nothing there. Because you just never know when you're gonna find something good. Like that. Free ammo. I will never say no to free ammo. So I've been told that um, if you check these beds, you will sometimes find ammo in them. So we will... You're the bathroom, right? Yeah. So let's go up here, because I think there may be... Yeah. Another... Another set of quarters up here. Eh, hand drill. I'm wondering if the, uh, if Keen took the <laughs> stuff out of them. Because basically there's a group of us who, you know, we were just raiding the bases for stuff, for materials. Because what happens is if you have a full assembler, all of the stuff you loot, you can, uh, you can break down. So. It gets it gets pretty cheaty really quickly if you're if you're willing to take the time to go through and do all the looting. Ouch. Oh well, it was worth a try. Okay. So that gets us. Oh, two of these, and we are here at right? the IDMA, I think. All right. IGTC. Really? Huh. Ah, oh, because it didn't have. So, are we at the IGT station or are we at the new? Oh, I can get rid of the visit me one. Okay. Uh, so I can get rid of this one. Uh, you are alien surface. And you are. I want to make sure we have these correct so we know which ones. So if we need a specific faction for some reason, this way we know where we are for it. All right, so, or where we need to go to get to it. Okay, so. Uh, that is those stations done. And then signal 2K out that way. 16k back that way. Well, I think that is really. Hmm. Well, hell. I mean, I guess we could do a little. Come on. Yeah. Do a little bit of exploration. Um, the ship's not really built for that, though. So let's go ahead. We're going to do... Let's break the lock. Alright, and we want this to be large thrusters.
Okay. So these are the two that we want to group. Oh. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the cruise control. Oh, this is going to be... This is going to be... Let's do this right away. Okay. Oh. Helps if I spell correctly. Or an aft. All right. So just to make sure we want those. Okay. Just checking. Okay. So now, if we wanted to set up cruise control, cruise control will be just turning. So what we're going to do is we'll have this. Uh, we'll have it toggle that on and off. And then what we'll do here is we're going to have UB turn everything on and basically what that will allow me to do is that in the case I forget I have a, an oh crap button I hit it turns all my thrusters on <laughs> all right that should work all right, so if we do this uh, let me see here is there anywhere else we want to go No, but we're only at 88. You know what? Let's. Let's do this really quick. Oh, uh, so that's what? So 160 liters, 160k liters. We are still. 18k well 17k shy so we need 17 more units on each one of those tanks so let's go ahead and do that we want to set you here we are going to grab you hey look it refreshed so we have more stuff And yes, I will. I will check that. See what's available here in just one moment. Buy a few more of those. I saw a nice gun in there too. No, no oxygen. Just hydrogen, please. And 17 there. All right, so let's see what we got here. Automatic. We can do an elite grinder. Anything good? Nope. Okay. Nothing worth buying. Because even with the uh, the interior plates, 168 per plate. If we did, do you have any acquisition missions for plates? Oh, look at that! Let's do plates. Um, I don't. Yeah, I guess I could if it'll take it. Steel plates. See, I'd like to know how much it is per plate. Um, 
what is that, 1,000 plates. So, 125 per plate. Is that right? Oh, crap. That is ridiculously expensive. Wow. Are you buying those? <laughs> no, you're buying materials. So 690,000, so 100 would be 6.9. How much? So 11. Uh, so. Yeah, that's a better deal. Okay. All right. So what we have left to do is not a whole lot other than basically getting us back up to the ship, grabbing some uranium, refilling our hydrogen, coming down and rinsing repeat. So what I'm going to do is we're going to make this a little bit shorter of an episode. We're going to get ourselves in position to head back over to the other station. Actually, probably just head up to yeah just head up to the ship we'll pick up the uranium come back do the do the transaction and uh, we'll call that a day so I'm gonna go ahead and thank you all for stopping in hopefully you enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit that like button if you have any questions or comments feel free to throw them down in the section below not only do the uh, the comments help let me know what you do and don't like about the place it also you know a lot of times I'll get really good feedback from everybody and I, I appreciate you know everyone providing their their hints and tips and suggestions so but if you did enjoy it and you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That's not only a, a nice thing to do for me on this lovely Friday afternoon, but it uh, helps, you know, it, it's one of the other ways that helps let me know that you're, <laughs> you're enjoying this stuff. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy your weekend. And we'll catch you back here next time on Monday for uh, more Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. All right, so... Let's get unlocked. We are going to... We have parked there. And let's go... Hey, look! Cruise control works! <laughs> Uh, see, I told you I was going to try it before we left. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody.